Okay, so what we're going to look at today is quadratic equations where a is not equal to 1. Okay, for starters, the general form of a quadratic equation is where we're going to be begin. So we have f of x function of x is equal to a x squared plus bx plus c. And we know that a cannot be equal to 0, otherwise we no longer have a quadratic equation. Okay, so normally in the examples we've done so far, we've had where a is always equal to 1. So the coefficient of x squared has always been 1. So as an example, we may have had fx equals uh, x squared plus uh, 6x plus 8. Okay, and if we make that equal to 0, so if we, if we make x squared plus 6x plus 8 equal to 0, and we want to solve this, we do this using the product sum method. And for the product sum method, we are looking for two numbers that multiply, multiply to give c, and that add to give b. Okay, now in this case, c is this number here. All right, which is 8 and B is this number here the coefficient of X and that is 6 so we want to look for numbers that multiply to give 8 so we obviously have 8 times 1 we have 2 times 4 we also have the negatives of these so minus 8 times minus 1 minus 2 times minus 4. Okay, we can then look at what they add together to give. So 8 plus 1 is 9, 2 plus 4 is 6, minus 8 plus minus 1 is minus 9, and minus 2 plus minus 4 is minus 6. And we were looking for this 6 here, and that gives us this row here. Okay, so in this case we would say x plus the first number here, which was 2, x plus 4, our other number, is equal to 0, then we can say x plus 2 equals 0, or x plus 4 equals 0, and therefore x equals minus 2, or x equals minus 4. Okay, uh, for examples where a is not 0, a is not 1, sorry, that's what we're going to look at today. So for example, we might have an equation such as 2x squared plus uh, 18x plus 40 equals 0. So if you have something like this, you can see that in this case our a term is 2. Okay, and with the product sum met method, that only works in this form when a is 1. Okay, actually, if you watch some of the videos from year 2, you'll see that there are ways you can solve these when a is not 1. All right, um, but we're not going to be doing that at the moment. Okay, if you would like to use that, you can, however. All right, but here we have a is 2. It's not 1. So what we do in this case is... Actually, we look at all our terms, and all we do is we divide them by 2. So if you divide each of our terms by 2, and that includes what's on the other side, which is 0. 0 divided by 2 is still 0. Then what we get now is x squared plus 9x plus 20 equals 0. Okay, and now you can think about the product sum rule, because now we have a is 1. So if we do our product sum rule, they have to multiply to give 20, and they have to add to give 9. Okay, so numbers that multiply to give 20, you have 20 times 1, 10 times 2, 4 times 5, and then the negatives of each of these. So minus 20 times minus 1, minus 10 times minus 2, minus 4 times minus 5. Okay, 20 plus 1 is 21. 10 plus 2 is 12, 4 plus 5 is 9. Then we have minus 21, minus 12, and minus 9. And you can see here, 
we were looking for 9, so we were looking for the numbers 4 and 5. Okay, so now we have x plus 4, x plus 5 is equal to 0. We can say x plus 4 equals 0, or x plus 5 equals 0, x equals minus 4, or x equals minus 5. The textbook says that you can skip these steps. Actually, no, we don't want you to skip them. Please make sure you show all steps. Okay, don't skip them. All right, so these are fairly simple ones where it's just two times something. Okay, but you can also have examples where you get a fraction. So you might get something like uh, half x squared plus 5x plus 12 is equal to 0. And in this case, our a term, our coefficient of x squared, is a half. Okay, and again, this half, it needs to be a 1 in order for, for us to use the product sum method. So what we're going to do in this case is we're going to divide by a half, but actually dividing by a half, if you think about it, what's 1 divided by a half? Well, a half fits into 1 twice, so it's actually the same as multiplying by 2. So we're going to do 2 times everything and also on the right side. Okay, 2 times a half is 1. So we end up with just x squared plus 2 times 5 is 10x plus 2 times 12 is 24. And that's equal to 0. 0 times 2 is 0. Okay, and now again we have a lovely example of where we can use the product sum rule. They need to multiply to give 24 and add to give 10. Okay, so what numbers multiply to give 24? We have 1 times 24. We have 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6, and then we have the negatives of all of those. Look, in this case, they're both positive. I know there's no negative, so I'm not going to make the whole table. Okay, 1 plus 24 is 25, 2 plus 12 is 14, 3 plus 8 is 11, and 4 plus 6 is 10. And we were looking for, in this case, this one. 4 plus 6 is 10. So our numbers are 4 and 6. So we're going to say x plus 4, x plus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, and in that case we now have x plus 4 equals 0 or x plus 6 equals 0. So x is equal to, well that's not an x, x is equal to minus 4 or x is equal to minus 6. Okay, you guys should have done plenty of this last year. So now it's just a matter of practicing. And again, if you're confused about how to do this, if you've forgotten it, or you want to see some more steps, because I actually do this in a much longer way when I first teach people how to do it, then go back to the older videos and have a look. Okay, and that will teach you how to do this and what it actually means. Okay, good luck.